The world watched with bated breath as Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping met on the sidelines of the BRICS summit. This encounter, their first formal dialogue in over two years, carried immense weight. It signalled a potential thaw in relations between the two Asian giants. The meeting came after years of simmering tensions, punctuated by a deadly border clash in 2020. The symbolism of the meeting, taking place in Kazan, Russia, was not lost on observers. It underscored the complex geopolitical landscape in which both China and India operate. The backdrop of the ongoing war in Ukraine and shifting global alliances added another layer of intrigue to the proceedings. For Modi and Xi, the stakes were high. Both leaders faced domestic pressures to project strength on the world stage. Yet, both also understood the need for stability and cooperation in a region grappling with economic uncertainty and security challenges. The meeting represented an opportunity to find common ground and chart a new course for the future. The road to Kazan was paved with a significant development. A recent agreement between India and China to disengage troops along their disputed Himalayan border. This breakthrough, the culmination of months of painstaking negotiations, marked a crucial step towards de-escalating tensions that had threatened to boil over. The border dispute, a festering wound in the relationship for decades, had flared up dramatically in 2020. A violent clash in the Galwan Valley which resulted in casualties on both sides, sent shockwaves through the international community. It underscored the fragility of peace along the line of actual control, the poorly demarcated boundary separating the two countries. The disengagement agreement, while limited in scope, provided a much-needed confidence-building measure. It demonstrated a willingness on both sides to step back from the brink and engage in dialogue. This paved the way for the Modi Sea meeting, offering a glimmer of hope that diplomacy could replace confrontation. To fully grasp the significance of the Modi Sea meeting, one must delve into the historical baggage that has weighed down India-China relations for decades. The two countries, home to over a third of humanity, have long viewed each other with a mix of suspicion and rivalry. The seeds of mistrust were sown in the 1962 border war, a humiliating defeat for India that left a deep scar on the national psyche. The unresolved border dispute, with both sides claiming vast swathes of territory, has remained a constant source of tension ever since. Beyond the border, other factors have fueled the rivalry. India has watched warily as China's economic and military might has grown, challenging its traditional role as the dominant power in South Asia. China, for its part, has viewed India's growing ties with the United States and its allies with suspicion, seeing it as an attempt to contain its rise. Despite the historical baggage and strategic mistrust, India and China also share significant common interests. Both are developing economies with a shared interest in maintaining peace and stability in their neighbourhood. Both are major players in global trade and investment and stand to benefit from increased economic cooperation. In their meeting, Modi and Xi reportedly discussed a wide range of issues, from trade and investment to climate change and counter-terrorism. They emphasised the need to enhance communication and dialogue and to build a more stable and predictable relationship. One area of particular focus was economic cooperation. China is India's largest trading partner and bilateral trade has grown exponentially in recent years. However, the trade relationship is heavily skewed in China's favour 
and India is keen to address the trade deficit. Another area of potential cooperation is infrastructure development. China's Belt and Road Initiative, a massive infrastructure project spanning Asia, Europe and Africa, has raised concerns in India about Chinese influence in its backyard. However, both countries recognize the need for greater connectivity in the region and there is scope for collaboration on specific projects. Section 5 Shaping the Global Order The outcome of the Modisi meeting has implications not just for India and China, but for the wider international community. As two of the world's largest economies and most populous nations, their relationship has a profound impact on global geopolitics. A stable and cooperative relationship between India and China would be a boon for the global economy. It would create new markets and opportunities for trade and investment. It would also enhance regional security and stability paving the way for greater cooperation on shared challenges such as climate change and terrorism. Conversely, continued tensions between India and China would have negative consequences for the global order. It would fuel instability in Asia, a region crucial to global economic growth. It would also complicate efforts to address global challenges as the two countries would be less likely to cooperate on issues of mutual concern. Section 6. The Dragon and the Elephant. A delicate dance. The Modi Sea meeting, while a positive step, should not be seen as a sign that all is well between India and China. Deep-seated mistrust and strategic rivalry are likely to persist. The border dispute remains a major flashpoint and there are other potential areas of friction. India is wary of China's growing military presence in the Indian Ocean, which it sees as a threat to its security. China, for its part, is concerned about India's growing ties with the United States, Japan and Australia, which it views as an attempt to contain its rise. Managing this complex relationship will require careful diplomacy and a willingness to compromise on both sides. It will also require both countries to compartmentalize their differences and focus on areas of common interest. Section 7. The Long Road to Reconciliation. The road ahead for India-China relations remains long and uncertain. Building trust and overcoming decades of suspicion will be a gradual process. The border issue, in particular, is a thorny one that will require patience and perseverance to resolve. Both sides will need to resist the temptation to play to nationalist sentiments at home. Public opinion in both countries is sensitive to any perceived slight or provocation, and inflammatory rhetoric could easily derail the fragile progress that has been made. The international community has a role to play in encouraging dialogue and cooperation between India and China. By fostering a climate of trust and understanding, the world can help these two Asian giants navigate their differences peacefully and productively. Section 8 a new chapter for Asia and the world. The meeting between Narendra Modi and Xi Jinping, while just a single event, holds the potential to be a watershed moment in Asia. It represents a conscious decision by both leaders to step back from the brink of conflict and explore a more cooperative path. The world will be watching closely to see if India and China can translate their words into concrete actions. If they can, it will be a victory not just for the two countries, but for the cause of peace and prosperity in Asia